Hello YouTube, Elite Legionario here and today I am bringing you a 4 player free for all for Rome Total War and I am again in command of my beloved favourite Julii Romans and my initial opponent Dodger is in command of the SPQR Romans and um, Master Steve JFF I don't know if that's a clan or what is in command of Gaul and he's going to camp on that hill for this battle um, and NV, NV Marine is in command of the Brutii Romans so my army consists of um, one unit of Praetorian Cohort is my General's Bodyguard one unit of Early Legendary co First Cohort to give my men a moral boost and then four units of regular Early Legendary Cohort four units of Gold Tap Roman Archers two units of uh, Silver Silver um, Auxilia and two units of Silver Silver Legendary Cavalry so um, my opponent's gone with the uh, uh, urban spam type army, well, not, not a huge spam, but it's still urban. So a legendary first cohort, and, uh, four urban cohort, a tree REI, and about the same amount of Roman archers as me, and he's got a whole heap of Praetorian cavalry. He's about four Praetorian cavalry. Um, he's going way up the earth. Them. So I see this cavalry way up there, so I'm going to rush. Um, he's got a bit of a slight height edge, but nothing too drastic. Um, but I probably shouldn't. I, I go for a bit of a peeler throw here, but I really shouldn't have done this. I should have just um, I should have just charged, but I never mind. So uh, I'm going to charge his uh, Praetorian cavalry here with my legendary cavalry, and I got my auxilia into support. So um, his Praetorians probably could have won this because they had. Made a few upgrades, so they probably could have won. But um, I charge in here, but I've taken a, quite a lot of casualties due to the peeler, as you can see. There's a lot of dead bodies there, so that puts me at quite a disadvantage. But I use my early legendary first cohort, so and my Praetorian cohort to outflank him. So that gives me a bit of an edge, and I take my fire. I go on to missile fire here, and I'm going to shoot these uh, urban cohort because I thought they were going to shoot the backs of my men. So um, I'm. I see that he retreats right back with his cavalry and I'm going to um, pull my cavalry right out and go in for it and I'm going to go for a hammer and anvil charge right here and um, I'm going to shoot the backs of these urbans with fire arrows hopefully it'll weaken the morale and uh, do some damage and I've got my own hammer and anvils going in and unfortunately one of my early legendary cohorts routes here but there are those guys are gold um, gold silver gold rather upgrades and here I'm mocking out the rest of his archers, he's doing the same on my end, but I'm not too worried. His cavalry are really needed to whack the backs of my men, which he should have been doing. Uh, he went for my archers though, which is fine, and I managed to um, completely destroy his um, his left flank, and I'm able to uh, wheel it up with my first cohort and my Praetorian cohort. And I think there was another just regular early legendary cohort there. So now these Praetorians, uh, not Praetorians, these Urbans are in trouble. And I'm going to do a hammer and anvil here and I get a full steam hit up. But here he comes in for one, but he leaves it too late. Gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. He leaves it too late and I'm able to uh, turn troops around and um, face it. And his urban cohort cave in and his infantry are gone. Um, my auxilia here managed to intercept his Praetorian cavalry. And my archers uh, um, managed to get a lot of fire arrows into the flanks of these urban cohort, which he really needed over here to help him over here. So he's lost the infantry battle and the... Um, cavalry battle pretty much, my auxiliary are coming in to beat down these Praetorians and I'm going to hit the side with my legionary cavalry so um, here he's got some of his uh, legionary um, Praetorians, I'm going to knock them down and he's got a couple of archers out over there and some of his units have sort of stopped routing but um, it's always nice to beat these um, type of units because these Praetorians had a hell of a lot of upgrades actually in these they look like they had gold gold actually, so um, I'm really pleased I beat them because they can be quite deadly. Um, I don't mind Praetorian cavalry, but it's just urban cohort that well, when they're combined together I guess they're bad, but I mean Praetorians are not too bad. I don't like to use them too much because they're not historically accurate. 
So anyway, he admits defeat, so it's a good game to um, dodge um, Always nice to um, beat a Roman army of that design with a Roman army of the design I had. So um, over here, um, the, I outlined the, didn't get to out, outline these guys' battle because our one started quite fast. He's got a lot of uh, very heavily upgraded barbarian noble cavalry. Uh, he's got about five or six gold gold barbarian noble cavalry, and then he's got a um, three barbarian peasants. But he's also got about five or six forest of warband, and he's got a bonus because it's in the snow, and he's one of his foresters now, and he's going to face. Um, uh, NV Marines, very large Praetorian cavalry contingent. He's got about four or five of them, and they're coming up in wedge formation, which wedge formation is really not that great. I don't think it is anyway. So um, he's going to be able to surround um, surround this big clump of cavalry, and they get, start to rout pretty much right away. He's also pouring in tons and tons of arrows from his forest of war band. So um, this whole battle, the uh, Gallic, Gallic player was wanting um, the Brutio player to come up and fight him, but I mean he is hell camping. So I mean I can understand the Brutio player being a wee bit hesitant. So um, these Praetorians fight well because they are Praetorians, but they've got no upgrades and opposed to this Barbarian force got lots of upgrades and has a bonus in the snow and has got support from all these archers on this hill. So um, this is a pretty hard fight for um, the Brutio player. He also has some early legionary cohorts some more early legionary cohorts. Yeah, he's just got a lot of early legionary cohorts for his infantry. So, um, a very good um, use of cab there by, um, by the Gallic player. And now he's going to go into uh, these Forest of Warband. And um, my army's quite depleted, so I need to. I'm hoping that the Brutio player can do enough damage because I suspect on my approach to try and get this guy up the hill, he'll just blow me to bits with his um, Forest of Warband. An interesting choice, these peasants here. They put up a pretty good fight though, um, which is always not to be expected from a peasant. Um, and there's a lot of these. Uh, Auxilia. Now, problem with these Auxilia, they're all clumped, not in loose formation, which is not a good thing to do, and this is Roman archers as well. So, um, these early legionary cohorts are, um, I think, they're doing, I think they're doing okay. Actually, I think these peasants might be beating them, which is quite disastrous, but it's got, this snow bonus is quite uh, significant for the Gallic player. But uh, these legionnaires shouldn't have any trouble dealing with these foresters and peasants. So yeah, I think that was just a temporary thing, but there's a lot of arrows getting poured into them. So um, that's making a real big difference. And of course the snow bonus is quite significant. So um, the Roman player is doing quite good now, but these cavalry will no doubt rout most of his men here in a moment. Or do a lot of damage to them. Okay, they didn't, but I suspect they would have done a lot of damage. So here, some more Roman units route, and um, these units are winning over here though. But there's still quite, a, there's still a reasonable amount of cavalry, and these cavalry have quite a lot of upgrades. And of course, again, the snow bonus is really helpful. So um, the Roman player starts to break, and um, the gods be praised. The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! So uh, any victory with Gaul is impressive, but at the same time, he did hell camp, and I, I just don't like hell camping. It's, I mean, it's obviously it's a good strategy, and it works, and it, oh, I'm sure it was, it's been done plenty of times in history, but it's just, I don't know, just a bit annoying. And, um... The enemy general is running away! This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. So, um, that's the, uh, Brutii Roman NV Marine defeated. But I'm on my way, and I'm rushing now because I start to rush anyway. I want to, um, get up there while the, um, the good Gallic players see me disorganized so that way I can catch them a wee bit unawares. But I'm quite far back. And I, I mean, I've got a lot of infantry, and I suspect I shouldn't have too much problem winning, but um, I'm just a little worried that those Forest of Warband will um, inflict 
The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! I suspect those forest warband could inflict a lot of damage on me as I make my approach. That is a concern. Um, so I'm just going to triple speed a bit here because just walking and um, much point in that. So um, these forests should be getting in range now, I suspect. And um, so here they are in range. So obviously as you can see, forests have a very big range. And my archers are nowhere near in range, so I need to get them up. Um, and I'm trying to get them up quickly. Yeah. At least I told them to. So I've still got my uh, early legendary cohort, my Praetorian cohort, where my general is. And I thought this was quite a good idea because um, obviously the general would be in a. Um, like the Praetorians guarded that very important people, or the emperor obviously, but. Um, He's a general, so he's pretty important, I think. So here I'm going to charge these uh, um, foresters before his cavalry can come and support him. And I'm just going to smack right through, go around and try and just cause chaos and distract lots of these um, foresters, whilst the rest of my infantry charge up the hill. So the idea was to provide distractions, so I get my men up the hill without too much concern of being um, knocked out too much. So here I'm going to smack the backs of these foresters. And um, foresters are pretty good in, in battle, um, and my legion, my cavalry is quite depleted, so there's still a bit of a risk there. So here he comes down with his cavalry to try and stop me, but at this point though, um, my infantry is in, posi in position, and I'm not even going to worry about the remaining peeler I've got, I'm just going to get right in with as much damage as possible. So here I managed to route the remainder of his men, and... Um, here my uh, cavalry come up, and my auxiliary are down there just in case of me as cavalry come out and be from behind, but fortunately they're all gone. So um, now it's just me running down routers for the rest of the battle. So um, all in all it was a fun fight between the four of us, well I thought it was. And um, this battle was meant to be a squad resolution battle, but I forgot to set it to scored and it turned out to be a last man standing one which actually works in my favour because I don't actually have as many kills as the um, the goal player got so it actually turned out good for me but I usually don't like playing uh, LMS on scored resolution because a lot of people will just camp on a hill and three or four people will fight and they'll fight well and then some player who's done nothing will battle show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men uh, a player who's done nothing or better will come down and destroy them all and he'll claim victory and I just, I don't like that. So uh, anyway, I had 1,198 men, but 1,128 kills and I had 496 men left. So, um, and Master Steve, of, I don't know if there's a JFF clan or what, looks like clan tags. He had 1,111 men and he got 1,758 kills, so if it had been scored he would have won, but... I accidentally left it on last man standing, which turned out to be a blessing for me because it allowed me to win. And the other guys did good too, though. So um, here's our armies. So my Praetorians did really good. My early legionary cohort, this unit got destroyed, but that was that. Well, that must have been that one on my far left. But the others did good for the most part. This one didn't do so well. Uh, the others did pretty evenly. And so my early legendary first cohort. My Roman archers they did okay, but my legendary cavalry did really good, and my auxiliary provided good support. So um, most, more or less, most of the army came together nicely, and it was a good fight. To Envy Marine Master Steve and Dodger, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time.